From now on, we are enemies. You and I. In this video, I am just providing some ideas for players. Players who have become too good or find it boring and want that thrill again. This is not an invite for challenges for me to do. I've done probably not all of them. I'm sure there's some out there I haven't done, but I've done plenty. And I've had many videos here of those challenges. Some rarely got watched. My OCD deleted them. And then I did some on my own leisure. This video is not about bragging. And if you already struggle with Dragon's Dogma, then carry on as you were, and then just recollect this video at a later time. In my many times of playing throughout this game, I don't know how many hours, somewhere between 6,000 and 10,000 I suppose, I found it boring when I would just plow through enemies and kill them with one hit. It became boring, so I restricted my playstyle and I made it more difficult. The first and easiest thing is to remove healing items, stamina items, all items for that matter really. If stamina and health cure items are always there for you, then you will always need them there for you. They become a crutch. So, once you get rid of them, you get better. Secondly, if you stop using such high damage weapons, daggers that give you 3000 damage, for example, try setting them up to have 2000 damage, remove augments, or just use a lower damage weapon. That alone will increase difficulty and then make the game more enjoyable for you. So, some of the other ways, once you get beyond the inventory, stamina, and health, or the weapons, then you can do the other challenges that you see here on the videos, like the uh, elemental restrictions, some of my favorites. Uh, Mystic Knight, for example, restricting yourself to only ice. So, you have to carry an owl mace, or the mace version. What the hell is it called? Shit. Oh well. I don't really use that one too often, so I'll just call it all mace for now. So you have to restrict yourself to the ice permanent weapon. You can't use a fire or a lightning, and you cannot use a physical. Because the ice permanent weapon exists, so you have to use it. This will make your cannons ice, and your ruinous sigil ice. The staff, you can use Frigger and Frazzle if you want. But you can't use Comestion, Leaven, No Soper, that's dark. No Abyssal Anguish, that's dark. The shield would have the Frost Repost and the Frost Enchanter. And then that's all you got. You've got ice fighting everybody. And it's pretty cool because you end up freezing a lot of people. And there's a lot of enemies that are weak to ice. So it's pretty cool. Until you come up against an enemy that resists ice. Like the Frostworm. Now every attack you have is ice. Now you have to think and figure out another way to take care of this enemy. And it forces you to think. The elemental restriction runs uh, really helped me. And I'm not bragging. I'm a pretty good player. I'm not like the best. But when you restrict yourself, that example, it made me better. Another example, we can go with Mystic Knight again. Fire only. Now you have to do Eden's Warden or Font of Fire. And the same thing. Now you can use Comestion, but no Frigger. 
ingle, but no frazzle, no leaven, no soper again, no dark abyss languish. And then you're doing really good until you come across an enemy that resists fire, like the hellhounds or the saurians or the fire drake. And now you have to think of other ways that you can take care of them. It makes you think. And then you can do the dark with Mystic Knight, which is actually pretty powerful because there's no permanent weapon for dark. So now you can use physical, which makes your cannon, you know, normal, your Runa Sigil normal, and you've got Abyss Languish, so the dark version, elemental restriction for Mystic Knight is actually pretty fucking powerful. And then you can get the same thing going as Magic Archer. Elemental restrictions going with fire. So you have to do Scalding Razors or Sapphire Razors. Nothing else because the fire weapon exists. There's no fire bow, so you can use any fire bow. Or you can use any bow. It doesn't have to be... You know, the only one that exists is the Dragon's Tempest for lightning. And then you have Sun Flare and Immolation. And then when you come across the fire resistance enemies, you have to figure out a new way as Magic Archer to take care of them when all you have is fire. And then let's figure out the uh, lightning since Tempest, Dragon's Tempest is the lightning spell bow. Now you gotta put Ricochet on there. And then the Galvanic Razors there is no lightning dagger skill, so it would just be the physical skills like kisses, shearing wind, you know, th those kind of things. And then ricochet, you know, handles pretty well just about everything, until it doesn't when you're restricted to it. And then you figure out, oh, ricochet doesn't work here. I have to figure out a new way to take care of this enemy in this position. And it forces you to think. And then you can go on with Sorcerer, Elemental Restrictions as well. Fire would be Comestion, Ingle, Bolide, but then you have to use the Fire Permanent Staff. Can't remember what that one's called. It's not Melting Focus, it's the other one. Um, sorcerer as Dark, you would have to use the Stagnant Surge or Stagnant Purge Staff, whatever it's called. Which, you know, that's gonna suck. You still got Maelstrom, you still got Necromancy, Miasma, Exequi, all those badass skills. And it is pretty powerful, but you'll still come across enemies that, you know, resist dark pretty easy. And you have to think of new ways with the spells, the dark spells that you have on how to dispatch them. So, there's the elemental restrictions. You can go the extra extreme with Mystic Knight, and it's a short little bit, but you could set up the Fire Drake, and you have the Fire Sword, but now you have to enchant it with ice and keep that enchantment up. And when it goes out, now you've got the fire sword again. And now you struggle and try to figure out the timing to place the ice enchantment on again. And another fun one is removing a weapon. This only works for a few of the vocations. Mystic Knight, Assassin, Strider, Ranger, where they have two weapons, you remove one. So, Mystic Knight, shield only. This really only works solo. You can't quite do this with pawns around because they steal the aggro from you. You need the aggro. And that's it. You don't have no restrictions on the shield. You just have to only use shield and the reposts or Demon's Wrath. After that, you could do sword only Mystic Knight, sword only Assassin, sword only Fighter, shield only Fighter, Longbow, 
only ranger, short bow strider, short bow assassin, daggers assassin, dagger strider, you know, just restricting the weapon usage. That then forces you to think about certain things. Sometimes you would have uh, attacked from long range, now you have to do short, or vice versa. Sometimes you used to rely on stealth, now you have to go in and just accept the aggro. And then with Ranger, there's an extra step you can go where... Actually, you can do this with anybody, but limit yourself to one skill. This example will be Ranger with Deathly Arrow. Ranger cannot use his regular bow, so no more single shots, no more tenfold, no daggers. The only attack can be the Deathly Arrow. You don't necessarily have to reach tier 3 charge. You can do 1 or 2 or 3, but that's the only skill that you can use. That's the only attack that you can use. That one was uh, thought up by Vergorio. And it's a fun one. It really teaches you how to do timing. And then when you do the shield only runs, that also teaches you timing. If you're not very good at perfect block, restricting yourself to the shield only, you'll get good at perfect block. And the force hatchet and caged fury. Yes, these weapons are powerful but they also have a very, very terrible consequence. Not such a consequence if you carry stamina curatives like mushrooms. It's nothing then. You just pop some mushrooms, you're good to go. But since we've removed items from our inventory, no more stamina, now if we lose our charge from Force Hatchet, it's noticeable, it's very memorable and you have to make sure that shit does not happen. So once you gain the charge, don't get hit, don't get the wing flaps, explosive barrels, things that you used to not pay attention to, now you do. And another challenging thing you can do is no attacks. So you just let your pawns do all the attacks. You can coordinate buff them, heal them, or, you know, however, whatever, that will teach you how the pawns up operate. I don't like doing that one. I don't really like going with pawns. Much rather go solo, but, I mean, that is challenging for me to let the pawns do all the damage and I just sit there and babysit. I think that's the word, challenging. Um, another one, like throwables only. So now you can only throw items, whatever that be, throw blast or whatever, coin purse. Kind of gets boring. But there's so many uh, ways that you can make it challenging. You just got to restrict yourself and kind of think outside the box.